Hello, movie lovers. How's everybody today? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Ooh, Darth Vader. I have you now. Anyway, today's topic started by King James, one of the grumpy old gentlemen on film. It's perfect movies. Do you have some perfect movies? And I think perfect movies, as everybody else has, they all do, we all do, but it's based on your opinion, right? Everybody has an opinion, and that's the best thing in life for you, an opinion. Just imagine that, having an opinion about things, and especially about movies. Let's talk about perfect movies. I have some. Of course, I could have pulled out a lot more, but no, we're not going to go there. We're just going to talk about a few. So let's talk about a few. Some of you probably have these, and some of you probably say, yeah, they're perfect, and other people will not agree. But there's nothing wrong with that, right? 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 So this is my opinion, and I don't give a fuck about anybody else's. The state and the fact of what I like and what I don't like. Now, if you have your own opinion, your own perfect movie, that's quite all right. Nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with it at all, right? All right, let's talk about a perfect movie. Let's talk about one of Robert Mitchum's perfect movie. He doesn't have that many. But he does have a big one, probably maybe another one here and there, but this one is a perfect movie. And it's from 1955, and it's called The Night of the Hunter. This guy's one creepy bastard. Yeah. And he's got the Lord on his side. Can you imagine that? And he's creeping out and there's money to be had and he wants it. He's following two little kids around. He'll do anything for that money. He'll kill them all. So yeah, Robert Mitchum. The Night of the Hunter. Let's talk about another perfect movie. If you're going to watch a war movie, you know, if you're going to watch a you know, war movie, sit around and watch it, right? What one are you going to watch? Of course, I always pull out this one. Saving Private Ryan. I know there's lots of war movies, but if you're going to put one in the machine, you may as well put this one in, right, D-Day? 60th anniversary. This is the 60th anniversary of uh, D-Day. Saving Private Ryan. Five Academy Awards. Right? So, this is the one to watch. Now, this is perfect. Saving Private Ryan. Let's put it back in the case. I've seen this at the show. Yeah, the show with Kathy, my wife. We sat down in the front, strained her necks and watched it. Perfect movie. Now this one, this is a perfect movie too. Summertime movie. You can't go wrong with a summertime movie, can you? No, you can't. Sunshine in the water, the beach, people swimming, pretty girls. And Jaws. Jaws. I know there's other Jaws movies, but no. <clears throat> if you're going to watch Jaws, you may as well get this one and watch this one. This is the movie. I don't care about the other Jaws movies. They don't really... I don't even know if I own any of those. I don't remember. Of course, I don't remember. But anyway, I got this one, and I'm very happy to have this one, because I watch this one every summer. And the funny thing about this movie, here in Toronto, right, when this movie was out years ago, I mean, us going by the newspapers and news and, you know, stuff, time, things happening at the time, that uh, even people in Toronto, they weren't too crazy about going in the water. <laughs> That's hard to believe, but yeah, that did happen for a while. Never, Nobody went in the water. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, nobody went in the water. But Richard Dreyfuss is really great in this. I like him in this. 
And that line, yeah, we got to get a bigger boat. Fantastic. All right. Jaws. Perfect movie. There's another one. You might be surprised at this one, but this is Logan. Logan. Yes. I'm what, three or four years ago? Where's my, uh, how old is this? Oh, I don't know. Not that old, three or four years ago. Can't even see. Even still got some of the plastic on it. But inside this set uh, here, right, you get your, um, well, that, but that's no good anymore. But you get your movie, right, on a DVD and the specials, right? And you get your Blu ray, right, and the special. And then you get this one. This is Logan Noir, film Noir. This is black and white. Logan, right? The black and white version. Now that's Blu-ray. Black and white. Boy, is that ever good. That's a, that's a really good movie. And the black and white. You know, I've seen it. I watched them both. The color version and the black and white version. And the black and white version fascinates me. It's like, wow, you're just sitting there watching it going, wow, is that ever neat, man. Yep. Get in there. Oh boy. There it goes. Yeah. The black and white version of Logan. Now this one, this movie's a fun movie. It's fun, it's fun, that's all there is to it. It's it's a perfect movie, you know why? Because it's fun. There's a few laughs in it too, right? Explosions, you know, funny things happening. A lot of good stuff about it. It's just a riot of a movie. Commando. Arnie Schwarzenegger's Commando. Right? So, yeah. Ray Don Chong. Funny. <laughs> Commando. It's a riot. It's a fun movie from 1985. Perfect movie? Yeah, it's perfect. Cause you can sit on your ass on the couch, you can open up a bottle of coke and munch on some popcorns or chips or have a hot dog and enjoy yourself. Perfect movie. Here's one. Here's a perfect movie too. The Road from 2009. Yep. What's his name? Vigo Morgison, Cody Smith McPhee, Robert Duvall, and Charlie Theron. Charlie's yeah, well, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Charlie's Theron, or Theron. The road, in a moment, the world changed forever. Yeah. It's the end of the world. It's not, that's it. It's all fucked up. It's gone. Everything's gray. Nothing living. Everything's dead. And these two guys, father and son, are walking down the highway. They're heading to Florida. I think it's Florida. Or so-called Florida. They so think it's going to be better there. Right? And some people they meet on the way, and a lot of things that happen to them on the way, and all that stuff. So yeah, 19, 2009 I should say. Yeah, perfect movie right there. End of the world. You want to get scared? Yeah, when you first seen this movie years ago, when it first came out, there were stories, all kinds of stories behind this movie. People throwing up, barfing, getting sick, running out of the theater, you know, shit like that. I don't know if that happened because I never saw it at the show or the theater, so I have no, I'm not a witness for that. But I heard about it. Heard a lot of stories about it. People fainting, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of people fainted because she threw up pea soup. But hey, that doesn't really matter, does it? So, it's The Exorcist. Yeah, The Exorcist. This is a perfect movie, all right? Because some of the stuff you've seen in this, for the first, if you've seen this movie for the first time, you'd be sitting there with your mouth wide open going like this, like In. You ever see In with his mouth wide open? Yeah, he's sitting there going. But anyway, yeah, The Exorcist.
watch it. You want to get scared. I don't know. It's not as scary as... I've seen this movie a few times over the years. So, you you know, you watch it. It's a perfect movie. So you get to watch it more than once, right? And you just watch it. And every time you watch it, there's always a part in it or something in it that you never thought you noticed before. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is The Exorcist, and it scares the crap right out of you. And for all those people that got sick at the theater, the show barfed up, fainted, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's a great movie, perfect movie to watch. Sit on the couch, put your feet up, tell everybody to shut up because you're watching The Exorcist. Family movie, brothers, sisters, friends, mom and dad, pop, everything, the American way of life, you know? Playing football. Baseball, summer, you know, the mosquitoes are biting and everything, right? Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, you're looking out the window, your school window, and what do you see coming down from the sky? Some guys in parachutes. Yeah, they're parachutes. And you're standing there going, what the fuck, what the fuck is this? And you're standing there with your mouth open like in does. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, you're standing there looking out your window, right? This is the perfect movie. And the guy's in parachutes. So your teacher goes outside, a couple of people go outside, and they're standing there, and they're going, Hey, what the heck is going on? And they get blown away with machine guns. <laughs> and everybody starts running like hell, right? Get the fuck out of here! And they're all running. Everybody's scattering. Machine guns are going off, freaking bazookas, uh, grenades, everything. You can imagine it, and you're going, hey, what the hell is this? Red Dawn. Yeah, Patrick Swayze. Red Dawn. C. Thomas Howell. Leo Thompson. Ben Johnson. Harry Dean Stanton. Ron O'Neill. William Smith. Charlie Sheen. Jennifer Grey. Man, this is a perfect movie. It's all about your brother and your friends and what you would do for them. Would you protect them? Would you help them? Yes, you would. Because you know why? Because it's your brother. And then they're your friends. And you die for them. Yeah. This is Red Dawn. This is a perfect movie. If you haven't seen this one, watch it. Now, this one nice black and white movie. I don't believe this is a film nor. I don't think anybody ever called this a film nor. But this is from 1962. Yeah. 1962. Gregory Peck. Yep. Yeah. And he's a lawyer. <coughs> Excuse me. And his daughter asked questions. So yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird. That's what it's all about. It's court. Black guys in jail. Yeah. And the lawyer. What's his name? Fitty in your what the hell's his name? You got Fitch or something? <laughs> I forget his name now. Fitch? Fitch? It was, I, I can't remember his name. But you know, you mostly just know who I'm talking about. This one here, To Kill a Mockingbird. Of course, Blu-ray. Right? This is a fantastic movie. This is a perfect movie. Interesting. Yeah, just sit around on the front porch and drink lemonade and chat. And some poor guy's in jail, they're going to kill him. Because he's guilty. I think he's guilty of raping a white girl and killing her or something. Another movie I have to watch again. But yeah, this is a perfect movie. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Conversation with Gregory Peck. Acceptance speech, American Film Institute, Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah. That's all, all kinds of stuff. <coughs> 1962, perfect movie. The Killer Mockingbird. 
And now I'm going to show you the only movie that Bob here, this guy sitting here now, this good looking guy, <coughs> I haven't talked all morning. The force is strong with this one. That I gave a 10 to. You know how I rate movies from 1 to 10? 7, as I always say, we repeat myself, 7's a decent number to give a movie. You can watch it, it's fine and dandy, right? <coughs> and 6 is like, well, eh, it's not too bad either. And then you get an 8, you go, hey, that's, that's pretty good. And then you get a 9, and you're saying to yourself, that's really good. It's really good. There's a lot of good movies that get a 9. And every once in a while, there does pop up a movie that gets a 10. Not often, to me anyway, not often. A lot of 9s, a lot of 8s, 7s, yeah. But, uh, you know, 6 and it's okay. Below, it's like, mm -hmm. you can watch them if you want to and stuff like that. But this one, this one gets a 10. This one's from 2012. Yep, Lincoln. <coughs> Lincoln. Steven Spielberg's Daniel Day-Lewis Lincoln. <coughs> Jeez, Bob. <coughs> I better talk to myself before I start making videos. But yeah, this one here. Daniel Day-Lewis Lincoln, 2012. Yeah. Joseph Gordon-Libbitt, James Spader, Hal Holbrook, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is pretty good in too. But yeah, everything about this movie is great. I have no faults with this movie at all. Every, this movie just moves along at a pretty good pace, story-wise. And Daniel Day-Lewis, he immerses himself into the character, right? Not that I know Lincoln. I mean, you know, none of us do, you know. But character-wise and portrait-wise, you know, the way he holds himself and he walks and he talks and he just tells stories, of course. You know, it's all written for him, but it just, what, the way he puts himself across, a 10 out of 10. Lincoln, yeah. But that's my perfect movies. I mean, I could have got a few other ones. There's, there's a lot of perfect movies, but, you know, I stuck with about these 10. So that's my choices in 10 perfect movies. Ray J, how do you like those ones? Huh? <laughs> anyway, grumpy old gentleman on film. I wanted to say hi to Mike. I hope Mike's doing well. You know, he's not going too bad. Staying inside. Say hello to King James. I want to say hello to Inn over there in Wales. Yeah, I want to say the hello to Ray J. Banjo J. That's his, he's getting a nickname too. My nickname's Bob. Bob of the North. Well, that's okay. Right? And Harry. Harry I call him Harry, my man. But, you know. But it's all fun. We all have good fun. We all enjoy each other's videos. I think I'm having a good time doing all this shit. So yeah, so uh, have a good week, you guys. And it was a good topic to chat about. Even though I, 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 I mean, honest, be honest, I don't do all, all the, you know, all the things or all the topics or whatever, because a couple of them don't, don't uh, interest me. But most of them do. Eh? Most of them, I'm, most of them, I get involved in it. The only James Bond one I did was Goldfinger. I told the story about Goldfinger when I was young. I don't any, I don't even know if any of you has watched that video. But uh, yeah, Goldfinger is the only one I did. But uh, yeah, so I think hopefully I said hello to everybody, Harry and yeah, and King James and Sir Ian and, and Mike and Jay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, grumpy old gentleman on film. Might have to turn my air conditioner on today. I might be getting humid. All right. I got my Blu-rays in. They came in from Amazon. I'm gonna make a video of that too. And they're still. I'm still waiting for one though. But it's not from Amazon. It's one of those other sites. Probably been waiting for that one for three or four weeks now. 
starting to get a little, uh, what's that word? Itchy or edgy or, I don't know, what do you call it? Well, am I going to get that movie? I hope so. Anyway, alright, talk to you later.